Oh yes guys, we're back and nature is back, crypto is back, nature is healing, look here, this is nature healing in real time, we have Bitcoin plus 6%, ETH plus 7%, uh, Solana plus 15%, listen, I mean, I hope this week would be boring, this is the one time I really hoped that this week would just be sideways boring, nothing happens because I'm traveling, we're at an offset with uh, Morales team, so that's why you get the potato microphone and no camera, but listen, the market is insane, the, mar the market is insane, we're really having a V-shaped recovery, what's happening right now is, is V-shaped, and I love it, I love it. L look like uh, what Kyle said. L holy, holy, holy shit, this is the epitome, epitome, how you say, epitome, epitome of the V-shaped recovery, if I've ever seen one. Because we dump like hell, but very, very quickly, we are coming back, so likely. This is this bear trap within the big cycle that we are in right now. This is basically the last dump before the massive, massive pump. Exactly like it was in the last cycle. Remember last cycle, we had one last big dump during the COVID scare, and then it was up to the races, and it was insane performance afterwards. So likely this is V-shaped. And look here, the black swan of this year versus the 2020, it's exact. It's exact. Where we have some massive event worldwide, which is fully real. Like this Japan thing and the carry trade we discussed yesterday is fully real. All of the concerns are fully real. Everything that has to do with macro is looking bad, exactly like it did in 2020. But what happened? The Fed stepped in, started to print like hell. And when we see something like this happen right now, it is actually bullish. It is very weird the way that the, that the market works because... Things that are bearish, really, that are bad, they are bullish. Why? Because then it means that soon Fed will have to do something. That very, very soon the Fed will have to step in. And this is basically what the market is waiting for. When will something break so that the Fed will start decreasing interest rates and will start printing? Because the Fed is waiting for something to break. And that's basically what we're seeing right now. We see this black swan with Japan, everything going down. But, 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 what happens? The Fed comes out and says that, the central bank, the Fed, would respond if economic conditions weren't. And let me also remind you that they will start buying 30 billion per month in treasury buyback already today. Already today. Now, this is important. Why? Because, uh, or actually, let's see, the first one is in, um, uh, on the 6th. Yeah, it is, it is basically today, exactly. Oh, no, sorry, Operation Day 7th. It's tomorrow, tomorrow, sorry. Is this going to be tomorrow? Now, what is important is the actual fact that they're starting to buy back, not the amount, because some people are saying, you know, oh, 30 billion per month is not a lot. Listen, it's 30 billion today. Uh, tomorrow it is 50. In a week it is 100. So the most important thing is that we, we see the pivot, the pivot from not buying back, from not helping the market, from not doing anything, to back printing, back helping the market and all of that. And they have to do it because at the end of the day, the governments are getting wrecked. The rates must be lower for the huge government debt to refinance, just like Marty says. Rates will come down because the government needs them to, okay? It's not a choice. They have to come down. The Treasury needs liquidity to monetize the interest rates payments. And this is basically the fact that when you have the Treasury issuing uh, new bonds and uh, T-bills and, uh, and other debt, they need someone to buy that. They need someone to buy that. And when no one is buying, you have the Fed buying. So the Fed basically comes in and starts buying, uh, both from the government, but also from the market. Because uh, the thing is, when, when you have an illiquid market, no one wants to participate in it. Let's say that uh, you sell me something. You sell your T-bill, like the government is selling T-bills. And if, I know if I buy it, I will ha have a hard time uh, selling it. So I will not buy it. But if I know that the Fed is always going to buy, that there's someone in the market will always buy, by then I have an easier time buying your T-bill from you. So this is basically what's happening, that uh, the Fed is uh, providing liquidity. And basically, the Fed is like a market maker in, 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 a, in, a, in a way. But the Fed doesn't have to be a profitable market maker. They, they're just, they're buying, you know, you want to sell, they will buy. Basically, that's what they're doing with their certain allocated amount. So... This is what Martin means, that the Treasury needs liquidity to monetize the interest rate payments. The fact that when you have a, a market which is a liquid, it, it has to be liquid and, and the Fed makes it liquid. So and so rates must be lower and the Fed has to buy. This is the thing, they have to buy the, the debt from the market so that um, other investors, banks, uh, hedge funds and so forth are more comfortable investing in the US, buying the T-bill because they know that they can always sell to the Fed. Money will be printed, absolutely. The government needs liquidity, they have to do it. They have to, because what is the alternative? The alternative is that they say okay you know we give up Let, game over you know we tried it was a good run let's we pack up the bag and that's it it's not gonna happen they're gonna print until it breaks until the system breaks fully and, and uh, shifts to crypto. So global liquidity drives crypto. Patience. We got to be patient. Buy, discount, and hold. And it, it, we have massive, massive discount right now in the market. Still, we are recovering, but look at the weekly. We're still down 16% uh, over the week in Bitcoin, down 24%. I mean, this is 
insane discount. Okay, what we're seeing right now, it is uh, it is such a gift in this uh, kind of time. I mean, I mean, it's exactly like in 2020. We had this uh, COVID scare one final time, one final flash. And then it was up only. So we're seeing it uh, still. So the discounts are, are very, I mean, very significant. And look here, liquidity is starting to go up. That's very important. Liquidity is starting to go up. We see it already. And the, the market is really positioning itself for the next leg up. Look here, El Salvador, they're buying. They're buying Bitcoin. Whenever there is a discount, they're buying. They're always buying. That's good to see. And finally, what is important is that Solana is proving so well. I mean, looking at how fast it recovers, it's, it's very, very interesting to see. So likely Solana will do well even afterwards. Now, looking at the seven day, let's see how quickly it can catch up on the seven day. Yes, it is up a lot on the daily, but can it catch up the seven day quicker than everyone else? Because I, I think that, that, that would be insane if it's also the, the, the fastest uh, one up. Anyway, guys, I have to go a quick one today, but if you want to support the channel, check out the Bybit link below. If you want to short, if you want to long, maybe you hate Solana, you can put a big fat short on it. You can use leverage to increase your gains, but be careful because you can also increase your loss. So using the link below, you support the channel, you get the platform, you can long short any asset in crypto, basically any asset. You can use leverage uh, and you can get um, a, a good sign up bonus if you use the link below so you can get your first trades going. Guys, a quick one, maybe tomorrow we're gonna do longer, but I'm traveling basically until Friday. Friday evening, I think we can do it from the studio. So we'll have to do a bit ad hoc until then. But uh, listen, let me refresh. Let's see what uh, the latest uh, state. Well, it's the same. Uh, uh, let's see how the market evolves. Likely this V shaped is gonna continue recovering like a V. If not, we will keep you updated. Thanks a lot, guys, and bye bye. <laughs>